Hey guys, uh, Mano here. Some philosophical rants, I suppose. That's what this is going to be. But uh, I did want to take some time out to, uh, to comment on one of the, uh, the the little statement I made in the intro video about um, the right answer to the wrong question remains the wrong answer. Therefore, you must spend more time with the question. Uh, the importance of that in my life has been immense, especially like getting into the whole studying and looking for whatever, you know, researching and blah, blah, blah. Uh, reason why it was so important that I kept that uh, circulating in the back of my head at all times is because if you ask uh, the wrong questions, your mind, okay, well, let me start from the perspective of the mind, the brain, whatever, um, it always has to prove itself right at all times. So uh, the, your perception of reality is completely based on your uh programming in your subconscious and how you perceive and uh, your belief systems is how you will what you'll end up seeing in, in your life for example have you ever been in a car or around someone that's a super negative angry person uh, you see it you see it in how they drive you see people cutting them off you, you get it they have a lot of like they're given a lot of reason to be angrier to uh, to prove to themselves, yeah, like people suck. You know, don't trust anyone. You know, uh, I had someone tell me to lie to people, like as if it's it was like some sort of advice to to lie to people. Like, and you know, I've done that myself in the past. And a liar always thinks you're lying to them. So the question they have in their heads are giving them answers to verify uh, their opinions of the world. And then the reverse is true, of course, of the of the optimist of the the person that sees things positively and I'm not referring to those people that walk around I have a good attitude and ah, I love life think positive but yet you know that there's chattering in the back of their skull that isn't positive and, and I'm not talking about those people uh, I'm talking about people that truly are uh, positive and happy or you know they have their moments of sad but they're overall um, happy people you see how individuals in the street react to them how when they go to, to buy something and they get changed, they get a smile. Uh, how automatically, you know, they're in need of something and boop, there it is, you know. Um, you definitely see it. And like, I, I hang out with some people that are positive and negative and see the difference. Anyways, I'm trying to make a complicated thing very simple, so I'm not trying to go into too many details. Now, the whole reason I kept this axiom of, uh, you know, keeping the right question in mind at all times was, uh, you know, when you're veering off into the endless domain of information and philosophy and so on and so forth, um, you know, if you have the right intention in mind, eventually, even if you're, you gravitate to something that may not be correct, you'll end up correcting your course by reminding yourself that you're looking for truth. So how, do, how does that make sense? Let me give an example here. Um, at one point in my life I was a nationalist. So um, any th information I was looking at or for was from the perspective of how how is this Greek and how how is my culture number one. And so anything I came across that fit that paradigm, I was like, yeah, absorption, absorption, absorb this stuff. And when I would run into information that mm, disagreed with this, I would uh, either some in some in many cases ignore some of the information uh, and in other cases I would just disagree violently and not even take into account that some of this stuff is true so we get stuck in dogmatic thinking if your intention isn't on truth but your intention is to prove yourself correct or whatever your philosophical views are correct so that's why I find that uh, that uh, axiom to be very important to me so it, uh, it kept me and is keeping me on the right path I guess I hope um, but at all times I, I you know I will look into an idea and if it doesn't fit my paradigm I question whether or not it could possibly be true and if it is I rethink it if it isn't then I put it to the side not to say that I haven't made many errors along the way, but this is one way I, I uh, found very useful to kind of keep me um, looking for for something. Anyways, hope this helped, or I don't know, just my rant. Those are my two cents. See ya, Mr. Mano. Bye-bye.